So a lot of you guys know that I'm kind of on this little minimalist journey over here as I go through my stuff pile and whittle down my student loan debt. And I've learned a lot along the way, especially about myself and especially about money. So today I wanna to talk about the five things that minimalism taught me about money. But before we start, if you think you'll find some value from this video, then go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Smash it if you want to, Graham Stefan style. I only have water, I don't have a 20 cent coffee. And don't forget to hit subscribe for more videos like this. And today's video is sponsored by Skillshare but more on them later. So I started my journey with over $120,000 of student loan debt. And I stayed in that debt for a lot longer than I needed to because I was definitely prioritizing shopping stuff, image, clothing, vacations over my own financial freedom. One of the first things I did to get out of debt was to build a budget. And I think the words being on a budget has a little bit of a negative connotation to it. Like it means you're poor or cheap or broke. I mean, I am broke and I am on a budget, but that's not what I'm getting at. So the first thing I learned is that having a budget doesn't mean you're cheap. It actually means you're allocating your money where it needs to go. And it really means that you know exactly where your money is going. So being on a budget doesn't mean you need to buy the cheapest thing. It doesn't mean you need to spend the least or not buy anything at all. It means you're telling your money where to go and you're telling it where to go with intention which what I learned along the way is what minimalism is all about. For sure, the budget might mean that you need to make some sacrifices, but you're making it for a reason. You're trying to stick within your means or even live below your means, and you're also trying to reach some financial goals, I bet, whether that be saving up for a house, a vacation, quitting your job and building up your emergency fund, or getting out of debt like me. The budget prioritizes where your money is going. It doesn't mean that you don't have enough money or that you can only afford to shop at the cheapest discount places. So when I started to explore how I spent my money and where I spent my money, within the vein of minimalism, it really taught me where to put that money and how to be the most intentional with it. So embrace the budget, it doesn't mean you're cheapy. The next thing that minimalism taught me about money is that when you buy less, you usually spend less. I mean, maybe that's not always the case because sometimes you can buy one thing that's really expensive. For the most part, for me anyway, I used to try to buy the most and get the best deal for more stuff. And now that I've decided to embrace minimalism in my life, it means I don't really wanna spend a lot of my time or my money on stuff. So if I'm spending less time wanting less things and pursuing less things, it also means that my money isn't going that direction either. So when you buy less, you spend less, and that's more in your pocket later. The next thing that minimalism taught me about money is that money doesn't buy happiness, and I think we know that, but it sure does buy freedom. It buys options, it buys choices, and it buys flexibility. And having the freedom to do more with less, and the idea of being sort of freed from your position possessions in the sense that you only surround yourself with things that you value or that you enjoy and ditch the other stuff. That also means I'm not spending as much money on the things that don't bring me joy or value. But where I do wanna spend my money is on the things that I value. And right now what I value the most is becoming debt-free as soon as possible. So naturally with that mindset, I am putting more money down on my student debt. And that means less money is going to things that I'm not prioritizing. And for me, more money down on my student loan and on my debt means more freedom later and it means I'm getting closer and closer to achieving that freedom. And minimalism really helped me see that. The fourth thing that minimalism taught me about money was that it taught me to prioritize my spending. So just like I said in my previous point, it's that I am prioritizing getting out of debt as fast as I can. And anything that sort of gets in the way of that to me right now, at least in the mindset that I'm in today, is not worth it. But that doesn't mean that I'm never going to shop again or never going to buy things ever again. But what it does mean is that I'm going to put my money in a place that I have thought about in a place that is intentional. So minimalism is definitely not about a race to get to the least things or who can declutter the most the fastest. It's about being intentional with what you surround yourself with already and what you decide to bring in later. And oftentimes where you decide to spend your money. So think about where you see the most value and what your priorities are in your life. If it's about becoming financially free, then maybe you wanna load all your cash on that goal. But if you have your financial ducks in order 
and for example, clothing gives you a lot of joy and value and you love being surrounded by clothing or books or records, then you can definitely prioritize putting your money there because that's where you find your joy. Other people might see that in wellness or travel or fitness. So what minimalism has really taught me is to put my money kind of, I don't know, where my mouth is and my mouth wants to be debt free. <laughs> I don't know. Before we finish, it's a quick word from today's sponsor, Skillshare. Girl still in debt, gotta pay those bills. Oh, hi there. I'm just working on my color grade for this video that you're watching right now. And I learned how to do that on Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes where people can come together to learn illustration, color grading like me, design, photography, art, and so much more. For less than $10 a month, you have access to thousands of classes that they update all the time, so you can always stay inspired and stay learning. I've always been really interested in color grading and wanting to get a certain cinematic and high quality feel in my videos. And now after taking Dan Dan's class, I feel like I can actually do that. The first thousand people to click the link in the description will get a free premium membership trial so you can explore your creativity and even try some color grading yourself sometime. So I wanna thank Skillshare today for sponsoring this video. Let's get back into it. Oh yeah, and this bun? It's real life. And the fifth thing that minimalism taught me about money is that because minimalism is all about prioritizing the things that are important to you, you can get rid of the things that aren't. And when people think of minimalism, a lot of times we focus on decluttering and getting rid of physical things, but you can really declutter your mental space around you too. Declutter the debt, declutter the toxic relationships, declutter the digital space. If it doesn't bring you value or doesn't contribute to the thing you see value in, then it's not worth your time, your energy, or your money. And bonus, if you're talking about stuff and you do declutter it, you can always sell it and make some money there too. So minimalism has taught me quite a lot about my stuff, myself, and my money. And if you're exploring minimalism, low buy, debt repayment, let me know what money lessons you've learned along your way. Thanks again so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Don't forget the first 1,000 people to click the link down below will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. Do me a favor and leave this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Remember, smashy smashy. And if you wanna see more videos like this, don't forget to hit subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.